This is the third time I'm trying to make this video due to all these interferences. <laughs> I'm serious. It's February 22nd for the third time. It is now 8.45. The time's changed. I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm going to do it now. Why are you dressed up, Zach? Well, I was sending someone some pictures, and I kind of wanted to win them over in a way in looking nice, proper. So, I was not in red. I was in gray, but I took some pictures. Anyways, um, I want to talk about when you like someone, kind of what you should do and who you should go for. I'm going to make it real quick because I got food downstairs. Um, if you're trans in general, MTF or FTM, try and go for the people who are more neutral in dating, like where they don't really care about what you are or who you are. They'll kind of just accept it and watch the process and go through it with you versus someone who might be straight and stubborn and won't change their ways. Also, family means a lot to some of these people, like... Me, I'm only interested in girls, so I'm heterosexual. And their family can be really important to the girl. Say they're Christian or Catholic and they don't support. So I'm not going to put her in a situation where she has to try and explain it to her parents. Because I don't like, you know what I mean? I don't want to force her to feel pressured that she has to do that. Matter of fact, I kind of want to say maybe why does the parent have to know at all? That's, that's my opinion. I mean, why? But, you know, it could mean a lot to her. Now, what you should do, I'm not sure if I said that. I can't even remember what I said. What you should do, if you like them, you should tell them. You should not keep it a secret. Not, you shouldn't date, you shouldn't even kiss him or her, or whatever they identify as. You shouldn't be all over them unless they know. They have to know. Because... Say they get really attached to you, right? And they don't know. And then one day, you're in a relationship. You've been together for a while. And then you go to have a romantic happy time. And what you have is not what she or he or whoever expected it to be. That's wrong. It is just wrong. Because, you know, then they felt lied to. That's the biggest thing. Is a lot of people don't like when you lie to them. So they will feel lied to. So... My best advice is to be honest, upfront, and go for someone more neutral. Otherwise, you will get screwed over. I'm serious. Or, you could be like me. I got lucky. She was okay with it. She's okay with me. I don't know. I just, I see it happen all the time because there's more and more transgender people coming out around where I live. And... I see it all the time. I see them go for someone and they get shot down. I see them try and it doesn't work out. On the bright side, the person that I'm talking about didn't even know I was trans, didn't even suspect it. So when I told her, she was shot, which is good. It's just really good. Um, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm not going to try and go for any dead on straight girls although I wish I could because it's kind of unfair but um that's that's my advice for tonight and probably for the next couple of weeks um I'm going to eat dinner so I'll see you guys later have a nice night keep looking spiffy